Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is episode 10 of my What's New on the High Street series, which is crazy. Hands up if you've seen all 10. Just me? Okay. I will pop a few of my previous What's New on the High Street videos below. I really need to think of a shorter way of saying that. My W-N-O-T-H videos. I'll also link my first video below because that just kind of explains in a bit more detail about what I'm trying to do in this mini series on my YouTube. For anyone that doesn't know, my name is Jess. Thank you so much for joining us in my little YouTube bubble of love and happiness. Today I'm wearing a stripy t-shirt that says happy to project happiness forward into life. So people don't even need to speak to me, they'll just know that I'm giving them happiness, right? It's a beautiful day outside, which is why I'm squinting, because it's so bright. <laughs> We've got some lovely pieces today. I haven't included that much in today's haul, because I'm not sure if you saw, but on Sunday, I uploaded a massive spring wardrobe haul, and it was an affordable haul, so everything in that video was under £35. So if you missed that video, I'd really recommend watching that and just discussing my favourite spring trends. If you're looking to update your spring wardrobe, and you don't want to spend that much money, head over there, I will link it below. So I always ask you guys for feedback, because obviously I'm new here, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> and the thing that cropped up the most on the comments for my last What's New on the High Street video was that you guys would really appreciate if I tried on the clothes so you could see what they look like on. I have taken that on board and I'll film little cutaways and show you guys what they look like. So I will start off with this t-shirt which I love. This is from Topshop and it says happy and it's rainbows and it's happiness isn't it? It's just so lovely. It just makes me happy and it says happy so there's so much happiness going on. As I was saying in my last video, I was discussing trends for spring and stripes and bold colours are massive, so this ticks both of those and it's just a really nice t-shirt to wear. I really like this fit as well, so I'm really really pleased with this and I'm wearing it with these jeans, which are my new Topshop jeans. They are straight leg jeans in authentic wash, I think, I'm not sure, I will link them below, but they are amazing, they're really really flattering I think and really comfortable to wear. really really like the colour of these, they've got a raw hem at the bottom and they finish just a above my ankles so I am a size 10 in top top jeans so I got these in a size 28 32 and the length and the fit is really really nice I'm really pleased with them and unlike most top top jeans that are quite tight these really do fit nicely so I don't feel like I have massive overhang over the top of the jeans if that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> so I like these, these are a great buy for me. These are £40, I'm not sure how much this t-shirt was, but yeah, whole outfit from Topshop. Oh, also, I get so many questions in the comments about this jacket. This jacket is from Glamorous, but I have had it for since January. It's a really nice, like, faux suede jacket. If I can find it online, I will pop it in the description box below. Right, so, first piece on the rail I wanted to show you is this Topshop dress of dreams. Isn't this amazing so this is very on trend at the moment it's got the yellow which is super hot right now everything is in yellow I don't know if anyone's noticed that it's got those clashing stripes and this amazing ruffle detail on the bottom it's got the tortoiseshell buttons which are huge as well so yeah I'm really really pleased with this I am so glad I bought it this one was 46 pounds but this is such a statement piece I think this is very different from anything I have in my wardrobe this is a gorgeous length it's got that split on the leg and it's got the ruffles which I just think are amazing so I'm super excited to wear this now in this weather beautiful in spring with like a leather jacket or a denim jacket or when you go on holiday in the summer this will look beautiful there if you watch my video on Sunday you will have seen that I bought the shirt version of this as well so I think that's actually still on this rail I have a problem I know I'm sorry and I styled this with a denim jacket and this green bag then on a similar note of having a long stripy twirly dress, I picked this dress up from Mango and I thought it was beautiful. They were, one of the mannequins was wearing it and I was like, oh my god, that looks insane. Absolutely obsessed with it. It's got the tie detail, it's got crossover straps at the back as well. It's got this really gorgeous baby blue and navy and cream print which clashes from one side to the other. But this one just does what with a popper and a little button in here. It's very twirly, it's very nice. I love the material. It reminds me of like old shirts which have been sewn together which I think is really cute. So I'm really pleased with this. Mango have some beautiful stuff in at the moment. I've never really shopped there that much before, but they had some beautiful things in there. It's not that cheap in there. I think this one was, how much was this? This one was £50. It's a very well-made dress, it's a beautiful material, and it's a really interesting design. Very unique, I really like this. Okay, up next, I have a denim skirt for you, but this is a very on-trend piece. So this denim skirt is from Misguided, so it's got that block of dark denim here. There is a trend at the moment of wearing darker denim with lighter denim, all 
of these kind of skirts with the block prints of different denims sewn in, like patchwork. That's the word I'm looking for, patchwork denim. If I can find them, I'll pop a few photos up of what I mean. It's also got a raw hem at the top, which I think is really interesting and really cute. And it's got that raw hem detail on the back pockets as well. This is a really nice length. It was from Misguided, it wasn't that expensive. And it hits that trend on the head. Right, now we have a pair of shorts. Oh my god, these are amazing. So these shorts are from Topshop and they are the most leg lengthening item of clothing I've ever tried on in my life because they are so high waisted. So this is the crotch here and they come all the way up to just here. They've got lots and lots of buttons which I think is a really beautiful detail. So you've got to undo these buttons and undo all of these buttons to get in because they are so high waisted. But I really 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 like them. These will look so cute with a little white top. The colour is a bit washed out but with a tan this will look beautiful. I need to fake tan. Oh my god. I really really like these and I think I'll get a lot of use out of them. They're very smart. These will look so so cute with a pair of heels or a pair of heeled boots with a little white top and a leather jacket. Up next we have this. It's a bit crumpled because I just I took it back out the washing bin to show you I'm really sorry <laughs> it's this off the shoulder pink top I absolutely love this only 22 pounds and I loved the rib detailing down the sleeve rib is coming back in massively at the moment got so many items which have got that really nice knitted rib material I love this color this hot bubblegum color it's off the shoulder it's super easy as a transitional piece from whatever weather we're having at the moment into spring and summer this you could wear with a denim skirt this would look so cute together it's such a bright pink but it's also got a kind of pastel-y tone to it so you can wear it with other pastels or you could wear it with other bright colours or you could wear it with black or white so this is a really good piece to style. I wore this the other day with, let me find it on the floor, with this beret and I think that this is the cutest colour ever. I love baby blue. If you've watched any of my videos you know my obsession with baby blue is real. So I saw this and I was like oh my god I, I can't wear berets, I can't do it, I look stupid I can't wear them but then I couldn't leave it behind I just was so obsessed with the color anyway so then I went out for macarons with my sister and I was like oh my god I'm so French I'm gonna put my beret on I'm just gonna do it I'm gonna be French so I did and I think the colors looked so nice together I basically looked like the macarons that we were eating I'm really really pleased with this as an outfit still have no idea how to style them if anyone has any ideas let me know <laughs> Okay, so we have another piece from Mango here, and this is a beautiful skirt. So this is a baby blue suede skirt, and it's got gorgeous detailing of the white buttons down the side. I don't think it was that cheap, I think it was £50, but it's a genuine leather skirt. It feels like such good quality. I think the white button details look so smart down the side, and obviously I love baby blue. It's very, very well made, and you've got like the stitching along the hem, which is beautiful. Pastels are massive at this time of year, so this will just fit into everything I bought for my wardrobe. However, if 50 quid for a skirt is a bit out of your budget, I did find a similar style, not exactly the same, but I bought this one from Misguided. It is also a suede material, but obviously not genuine. It's a much thinner material, and it's obviously not as good quality. But it's got a really gorgeous scallop detail along the bottom, which I think is very pretty for spring. I really like the color, and I like the button on the front. So if I hold this one here, and this one here, the difference in quality is huge, but if you wanted a baby blue skirt, then these both do that job very nicely. I just thought this was a really cute option for spring, and this would look really nice with another pastel colour. Whilst I'm down in this corner, I wanted to show you this bucket bag that I bought. I absolutely love this. I think this is so cute. I've seen this all over Tumblr. Does anyone have Tumblr? Or is that just me? Am I super old school? I really, really like this bucket bag shape. I love how rigid it is. Like, you could put that on the floor and nothing would fall out. I love the colour, obviously. So it's got this kind of black canvas to stop people just putting their hands in, which I think is really nice. And it comes with the over-the-shoulder strap. It kind of reminds me of an ice bucket carrying a bottle of champagne, but... <laughs> <laughs> I really really like this and I think this is just a really cute accessory for spring. The shape reminds me of like carrying a watering can which is not ideal but I really like this as a handbag. This is £29 from Topshop and it feels like really good quality. As I said before I hate when you put a bag down on the floor and it just like flops over and everything falls out. This is sturdy. This is a very sturdy piece of bag and I'm really pleased with it. Oh my god it matches my nails. You can't even see my nails. Also how great is this colour? So yeah and this looks really nice with my t-shirt. But I do feel like I'm carrying a bottle of champagne, which is never a bad thing. Okay, up next. Guys, if you've watched all my videos, then you will know how much this jumper will excite me. I have such a thing for locations, if it says New York, LA, like the Hamptons, all of that kind of vibe. And I have a thing about Calabasas, because obviously the Kardashians. If you know, we've spoken before about this, but if you're new, then I have such an obsession with the Kardashians. Also, poor Chloe. 
I mean, what? No one deserves that. She doesn't deserve that. That was awful. He's an ass. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I absolutely love the Kardashians and I found this jumper on Misguided. It says Calabasas. It's a really nice, oversized, slouchy, rough cut fit and it's so comfortable. Honestly, I love this so much. And I love that font. I love everything about it. It's very vintage, very retro. If you know, then you know how much I love this. And also for anyone else that's looking for another Calabasas jumper, I've got you girl, I've got you. Look at this, we've got it together. We will have the biggest location jumper collection together. <laughs> I also love this color. They do it in a green color, I think, but this dirty pastel blue is just a dream. This is so me, I can't even explain. Up next, we have a skirt. So this is from Pull and Bear, but I bought it on ASOS. This is a polka dot skirt with the button up detail all the way down the front and it has two slits, one on either side, like so. So you get a bit of float when you walk. I love that it's got two pockets. It was very affordable. I love black and white polka dots, such a huge trend at the moment. It's got an elastic waist, which I think is really nice. It is slightly see-through. It's not shockingly, can you see my hand? It's not shockingly see-through, but it's still a nude knickers skirt for sure. No red underwear with this bad boy. But I thought that was really cute and a really nice staple piece for your spring wardrobe. You could wear this with pretty much anything I've bought. And this would look so cute if you wore it with just black and white or if you added a pop of colour. This would look really sweet with this. Okay, what have we got next? Oh, you're going to be mad at me. I bought another denim jacket. I mean, you might not be mad at me. I'm mad at myself. I bought another Topshop denim jacket. I have such a problem. I have no self-control. But I saw this and I just thought it was such a cute colour. It's like this really hot bubblegum pink. It's like a baby hot pink. I don't even know how that works. Like a baby bubblegum hot pink. It's just so cool. I got this in a size 10. It's oversized. How much was it? £45. I'm pretty sure that this is exactly the same as my blue denim jacket that I bought from Topshop, but in pink. You need to mix it up. You need to have blue and pink in your wardrobe, guys. It's just very important. You've got the turned up sleeves. It's just beautiful. I love this colour. Yeah, not much to say about it other than I just have a really bad shopping addiction and I have a problem. That's okay. Because it will go with everything. Even at the moment, I'm loving pink and red. You could wear this together and it would look really cute. So I'm really pleased with this, even if you guys are going to yell at me for having too many of them. I think that's everything. Oh no, wait, we've got... A pair of shoes I wanted to show you. I picked these up from Misguided. These look so much like the Chanel slingback shoes. They are so Chanel, I can't even explain. These would be perfect to wear for a summer wedding or a spring wedding. Or you could just style these with a pair of jeans and a loose white shirt. I think these are really, really classic, really classy and really nice. They aren't the most well-made thing, but the heel looks a little bit wonky. I wouldn't trust them if I was gonna, you know, walk the marathon or something, but I wouldn't wear heels to do that anyway. I think these are really cool. Very very, very classic, very stylish. I just thought it's a really good dupe, perfect, perfect spring shoe. So yeah, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that me trying on the clothes was helpful for you guys as well. I absolutely love your feedback. I really find it useful. So please do let me know any feedback that you have. Pop it below. Any questions you have, let me know. As always, I love hearing which pieces you are loving and which pieces you are like, girl, no. I would love to know what kind of videos you would like to see on my channel. Any suggestions you have, pop them below. Any hauls that you want, anything, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me. And if you have watched all of these What's New on the High Street series, then you are literally my favourite person ever. I hope you guys have the most amazing rest of your week. If you are new, then don't forget to subscribe. And anyone that gives this video a thumbs up means so much to me. I can't even explain how much it means to me. I will make sure to link my Instagram, my Twitter, and my blog below, as well as previous hauls I've done. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!